Hallelujah. You can have peace with God. God offers eternal life to all those who repent and believe. You can be reconciled to God. Hallelujah. Eternal life is the greatest gift that anyone could receive. But sinful men, they have an appetite for deceit. They boast in their arrogance. They say there is no God. And there is a reckoning coming. Hallelujah. The Bible says men love darkness and they hate the light. Because their deeds are evil. That's why most people don't come to Jesus. Because their deeds are wicked. They practice sin. They love their sin. Therefore, they shake their fists at God's only begotten son, Jesus. They blaspheme his name. Hallelujah. And God in his mercy is long-suffering. He delights in mercy over judgment. God demonstrated his love by sending his son. Hallelujah. God sent his son to die for sin. So now men can go to God's holy heaven and be forgiven. But men love darkness. They hate the light. And there is a day where God is going to judge men. Hallelujah. It's going to be a fearful thing to be judged by God when you lived wicked, you lived in sin. You lived your life as an enemy of Jesus. Think about that. All your life you chased after sin. You boast in your pride, in your arrogance against God. And then at the end of your life, you stand before that God that you have denied. It's going to be a fearful thing. The Bible says it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of a living God. Repent and believe on the Lord Jesus while you hear the preaching of God's word. Don't just be an enemy of God. Don't be a, a lukewarm Christian. Because judgment is coming. You're going to be judged for your works. You're going to be judged by a holy God. The Bible says it's by the fear of the Lord. Men depart from evil. Men don't depart from evil because they don't fear God. They work sin. They don't fear God. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of a living God. Imagine standing before God on judgment day. Think about that for a while. If you've ever been in trouble before with the police and had to go to court, you knew you was going before that judge and you was nervous. Even if you knew you was right. Because that judge was in control of your freedom. He can put you in jail. There was this sense of fear. That you was going in front of a judge. And this is a human judge. Hallelujah. Think about that day when you're going to stand before God Almighty. He's going to judge the world in righteousness. He's going to judge wicked men in holy fire, in flaming fire. Hallelujah. It's time to get right with Jesus. Today's the day of salvation. 
Do you not guarantee tomorrow? Today is the day to confess your sin and say, God, have mercy on me. I believe in your son. Commit yourself to God's word. Depart from iniquity and get real with Jesus because judgment is coming. Hallelujah. Salvation is in Jesus. Repent, believe on the Lord. Get baptized, get real with God. Don't keep living in a practice of disobedience because there's a court date for you. The Bible says it's appointed once for man to die and then after that comes the judgment. You have an appointment with God. You have a court date with God. You can run today, but death is coming. You can't run from that day of death. It comes to all of us. And when you breathe your last breath, your day of running from God is over with. Don't be judged by God and go to the fire. While you're alive, get right with Jesus. God is real. His Bible is real. God is good. God is good to those who humble themselves. The Bible says, humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and He will lift you up. Humble yourself. Get real with God. Repent and believe on the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name.